Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to you today to ask for your wisdom, your knowledge, and your understanding so that we can walk in your ways and know of you and your things. And Lord, please write these words upon the tablets of our heart so that we can we can keep them there for when we need them. And we can ponder over your precious, precious word. Give us strength and mercy to hunger and thirst for your word, Lord. We say all of these things in the name of Jesus, my Savior and best friend. Amen and amen. Job 16. Then Job answered and said, I've heard many such things. Miserable comforters are ye all. Shall vain words have an end? Or what emboldeneth thee that thou answerest? I also could speak as ye do if your souls if your soul were in my soul's stead, I could heap up words against you and shake my head at you. But I would strengthen you with my mouth, and the moving of my lips would ass assuage your grief. Though I speak, my grief is assuaged, and though I forbear, what am I eased? But now he hath made me weary. Thou hast made desolate all my company. And thou hast filled me with wrinkles, which is a witness against me. And my leanness rising up in me, breadth wisdom, witness, excuse me. Let me, <laughs> let me do that again. And thou hast filled, filled me with wrinkles, which is as a witness against me, and my leanness rising up in me beareth witness to my face. He teareth me in his wrath who hateth me. He gnasheth upon me with his teeth. Mine enemy sharpeneth his eyes upon me. They have gaped upon me with their mouth, they have smitten me upon the cheek reproachfully. They have gathered themselves together against me. God hath delivered me to the ungodly and turned me over into the hands of the wicked. I was at ease, but he hath broken me asunder. He hath also taken me by my neck and shaken me to pieces, and set me up for his mark. His archers compass me round about. He cleaveth my reins asunder, and doth not spare. He poureth out all my gall upon the ground. He breaketh me with breach upon breach, he runneth upon me like a giant. I have sewed sackcloth upon my skin and defiled my horn in the dust. My face is foul with weeping and my eyelids is the shadow of death. Not for any injustice in my hands also my prayer is pure. O earth, cover thou my blood, and let my cry have no place. Also, now, behold, my witness is in heaven, and my record is on high. My friends scorn me, but mine eye poured out tears unto God. O oh, that one might plead for a man with God as a man pleadeth for his neighbor. 
when a few years are come, then I shall go the way whence I shall not return. Heavenly Father, thank you for your, in the name of Jesus, thank you for your precious word. Help us know what these words mean and what you are trying to tell us. Help us glean again and again and again and again what your word means and what you're trying to tell us. Heavenly Father, I thank you. I thank you for taking the time to be here with us, Lord, and I am so grateful. Oh, I am grateful. I'm grateful for those that are listening and for those that are encouraged. And Lord, I pray for all my brothers and sisters worldwide, in bonds and out of bonds, that they may be strengthened in your, their walk with you, Lord, and that they may overcome. I pray for more people to come to the only one that matters, Jesus our Lord, and to be saved and born again. Lord, I pray for all of them. And I'm grateful that but for the grace of God, I could have been one of those lost souls. I could still be one of those lost souls. But I trust in Jesus and his word. And I trust in the Bible that the Holy Spirit knows where I am and will search me out. And as long as I put my faith and my trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, I will find him. Lord, I am so grateful for all my brothers and sisters worldwide guide them and surround them and help them do your will and help us achieve the Great Commission. And I say all these things knowing that your kingdom on this earth will be established as it says in the word. Your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. I thank you, Lord, for all. And I say all of these things in my precious Lord's name. Jesus, my Ishi Yeshua. Amen and amen. Thanks for listening. Till next time. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.